Ontario's 25th Premier will be sworn in on Monday, but for Kathleen Wynne, it's only uphill from there. Liberal scandals, a prorogued legislature, major gaps to fill in her cabinet, and let's not forget an opposition prepared for a fight in this minority government in the province of Ontario. No, it doesn't look like smooth sailing into Wynne's premiership. Paige McPherson joins us now from our Toronto newsroom with more. Well, Paige, let's talk about the immediate hurdles that Kathleen Wynne will face as she makes the move from Premier designate to Premier. Sure, well, certainly, Brian, the uh, biggest issue on the agenda for Kathleen Wynne when she gets sworn in tomorrow will be to appoint members to her cabinet. Now, we don't know who all of the cabinet members are going to be, but we do know one of them right now, and that's because Kathleen Wynne has said that she's going to appoint herself as Minister of Agriculture, Food, and Rural Affairs. So, undoubtedly, this is a move to connect herself with rural voters and play down any opinions that she was going to be a Toronto-centric premier. She's, of course, a Toronto politician. She said it's good that an urban member is taking this on and talked of how it would repair the relationship perhaps between the two parts of the province but of course when she takes on that portfolio in addition to her premiership she's going to have to balance some green energy issues that the liberals have faced mainly farm communities pushing back to wind turbines in their communities and of course the liberal government was responsible for that now i can also tell you brian three people that we know will not be in the cabinet uh, that's because three former liberal cabinet ministers resigned recently one of those is energy minister Chris Bentley, who resigned from the legislature while he was facing major scrutiny over the cancelled gas plants. Now, this is interesting because he was really expected to run in the Liberal leadership race. It was surprising for everyone when he, you know, stepped out completely. The second is uh, Minister of Northern Development and Mines, Rick Bartolucci, who stepped down but will remain in the uh, legislature. And Finance Minister Dwight Duncan, who stepped down uh, completely out of the legislature to take a job on Bay Street and is also helping with Justin Trudeau's federal leadership campaign. One person who is going to be in the legislature, however, is former Premier Dalton McGuinty, who's going to stay on the back bench in his Ottawa South seat, undoubtedly to keep the seat for the Liberals, Brian. Well, it's a good thing that he's going to be sitting there on the back bench because he'll He'll get the best view in the house of uh, Kathleen Wynne trying to clean up the mess left from the scandals of almost a decade of uh, McGinty rule in Ontario. Let's talk about what she has to clean up. Sure. Well, I would say that the uh, the main problem facing Wynne as she enters is the is this gas plant scandal. The opposition has been very hard on her even up to this point, and as you said, they are ready for a fight. She has ordered an auditor, auditor general expanded probe of the gas plant issue, which takes it out of the legislature. But the NDP and PCs aren't satisfied. They want public hearings and legislative committees and PC leader Tim Hudak said that, said that an Auditor General probe won't hold the guilty parties responsible. Well the Auditor can look at expenses and any help there is welcome. Um, the Auditor does not have the authority to subpoena individuals uh, who gave the orders for the cover-up of information um, and uh, why we're still missing uh, emails and information. So PC leader Tim Hudak hinting that some, guilt, uh, some liberals are very guilty for this uh, gas plant scandal and they need to be held responsible, Brian. So. Paige, let's take a look at what Kathleen Wynne has in front of her just for a little bit longer because uh, she's a former education minister in the province of Ontario and the expectation was that she would take that portfolio for herself, but that's not really the case, is it? Sure, no, well, I mean, assuming the role of the Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Issues, I mean, on top of her premiership, that's kind of unheard of as it is. So she's already going to have a lot on her plate and people are saying that that's going to be, you know, challenging for her. These are two new roles. And it will be interesting to see who she puts in as energy, or, um, education minister because, of course, um, the, the Liberal government's relationship with teachers in the province is still unsteady right now. We've seen, you know, widespread strikes across the province over a strike ban which of course will be ushered out but uh, I mean it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see how the teachers unions play ball with the government for sure Brian no question about that uh, well we'll look forward to see what happens under Premier Wynn yeah. thanks for this Paige no problem thank you you bet that's Paige McPherson in our Toronto newsroom